Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a Pomeranian, which was another request I received. I had trouble getting the right colours for the Pomeranian, so I wasn't able to work the 8 ply, and this 4 ply, the colours are a bit off. Um, the size of the one worked with 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 7cm wide by 9.5cm or 2 and 3 quarter inches wide by 3 and 3 quarter inches. This small Pomeranian crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 5.5cm wide by 8cm or 2 and a quarter inches wide by 3 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 383 ginger gold, 179 topaz, 404 English tea, 110 black and 254 moon rock. I'll only need a tiny bit of that. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook for the main parts and a 2.25mm hook for, for the neatening rows. I've got scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends, two black beads and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. The pink is to embroider on the mouth. We're going to start on the mouth. I've got my 110 the black and we start with 6 chain the mouth is quite curved at the bottom so we're going to work 3 different stitches we're going to work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook a single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms for a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. Then we're going to work one half double crochet into the next chain. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the three loops. Then we're going to work two double crochet into the following chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We need one more double crochet into that stitch. Then we work one half double crochet into the next stitch. And one single crochet into our last chain. and we fasten off and that's the mouth done for the muzzle we join in our first stitch so that stitch there we're joining the topaz the 179 and we work one chain and then one single crochet in the same stitch as the join and one single crochet into each of the next five stitches
For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. So we put the hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, then hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. There's 3 loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work 1 single crochet in each of the next 2 stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 3 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. So the same as we did over the first two. And then we fasten off. And that's the mouth and the muzzle done. I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back with the moon rock and we'll work just around the muzzle. Now for around the muzzle I've got the 254, the moon rock and I work three chain quite loosely. Then we join just at the side of the mouth, just with a slip stitch. And then work one double crochet in each stitch around the top of this muzzle part. We'll need 10 stitches. So 10 stitches around the muzzle part. So that's my 10 stitches, then we work 3 chain quite loosely and fasten off. And that's around the muzzle done. Now for the nose, I've got my black, the 110. And we start with a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you feel most comfortable. I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook, and then the long end over the short end to make a circle, and then put the yarn around my hook and bring it through the circle. And there's my magic loop. We work one chain and work one single crochet into the circle and then slip stitch into the circle and pull the circle tight so we take hold of this tail and ease it in the tail at the beginning and then fasten off I fasten off with a long tail and I use that to attach it to the muzzle
and there's the nose. It's like a tiny little triangle. Now for the top of the head, we start with the topaz and then we'll use some ginger gold. So I've got the 179, the topaz, and we join on the wrong side, just in the first chain there. So the muzzle is facing up, the mouth down. And we work one chain and we work one single crochet into the same stitch as the join. One single crochet into the next stitch, next chain there. And then we're going to work a join single crochet over the last chain and around the muzzle we're just going to work into this front loop here not through the back loop as well that's the back loop there this is the front loop so we put our hook into the last chain and bring up a loop and then hook into the front loop only of the first stitch around the muzzle and bring up a loop then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet in the front loop only of the next eight stitches round the muzzle. Now we work a joined single crochet into the front loop only of the last stitch around the muzzle and the first chain. And then one single crochet into each of the last two chain. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch join single crochet over the next 2 stitches One single crochet into each of the following two stitches. And then two double crochet into the next stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK turns. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Two double crochet into the following stitch. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. And two single crochet into our last stitch.
and then we fasten off the topaz. And that's the first part of the head. I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with the ginger gold and we'll work this top part. Now we're going to join the ginger gold to the first stitch in here. Just that first stitch there. And we start with two chain. We work one half double crochet in the same stitch as our join. And then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then we work a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. Then one single crochet into the next stitch. I'm just working over the tail so I don't have as much weaving in ends to do but it's getting caught up. And then two single crochet into the following stitch. Then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. and two single crochet into the following stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. Then work one half double crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row four of the top of the head, we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. Then one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. A joined half double crochet over the next two stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row five we start with one chain and turn. 
We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to start on this first ear. We work one double crochet into the next stitch, that's a treble using UK terms. And then we're going to work one treble into that same stitch. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a treble we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the same stitch as our double crochet and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops and then yarn around the hook and hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then we work one treble and one double crochet into the next stitch. And then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now we work one double crochet and one treble into the next stitch. And one treble and one double crochet into the following stitch. one single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. Now we're going to work one single crochet into the next stitch down the side Two half double crochet into the following stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch. And then slip stitch into the end of the chain there. And that's the head done. We're not going to fasten off. We're going to start on this part just under the mouth. We work one single crochet into the first chain and then one single crochet into the back, back of the next chain. Now we're going to work a joined single crochet over the next chain and just in that side part of the muzzle there. Now work one single crochet in each of the seven stitches at the bottom of the mouth. Work a joined single crochet in the side of the muzzle part and the first chain and then one single crochet into each of the last two chain and then work one single crochet into each of the first four stitches up the side.
and fasten off. Now the muzzle, when it's flat, just sticks up a little bit, just like that. It just makes it look a little bit better. Now I'll weave in this end and I'll be back with the English tea, this lighter colour, and we'll work the front part. Now for the second row of the front, we're going to join our 404, the English tea, to the first stitch along the bottom. So this stitch here. And we work two chain. Now we're going to be working only into the back loop. This is the front loop here and this is the back loop. So we'll just be working into the back loop. We work two half double crochet into the back loop only of the same stitch as the join, one half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined half double crochet over the following stitch. Then work one single crochet into each of the next 11 stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. Then 1 single crochet into each stitch until we have 4 stitches left. And then we work one half double crochet into each of the last four stitches. For row four, we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. One half double crochet into the next stitch. Then we work one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. and one half double crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row five we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet in each stitch until we have two stitches left. We'll work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 11 stitches. So after the joined half double crochet work one single crochet in each stitch until there are two left.
and work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 11 stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, then one single crochet in each stitch until we have two left, we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have nine stitches. So after the joined single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch until you have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 9 stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch until we have two left, we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. So after the joined single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch until there are two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For both 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the seven stitches. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined 
single crochet over the first two stitches, one half double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into the following stitch, that's a treble using UK terms, one half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And we fasten off and that's the head and the front done. I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back and we'll neaten it with the English tee. Now for the neatening row I've still got my 404, the English tee and I've also got my 2.25mm hook just to make it a bit easier. I join my yarn to the first stitch of the English tee, so just up in here and work one chain. I work one single crochet in the same stitch as the join and one single crochet into the next stitch. Now we work two chain and work one single crochet into the next stitch and we repeat that two chain and work one single crochet into the following stitch. The two chain just gives it a bit of a shaggier look and try to work your single crochets fairly close together in each stitch. And we just continue like that right up to the end of the front. So I'll work the rest of that off camera. We work one single crochet in the last stitch of the front and fasten off. And that's the front finished. Now for this side part we join the 383 the ginger gold to the second stitch of the front. So just in there And we're going to be working into the back loop of the single crochet, so, so not into the chains. So we'll be working behind. We slip stitch into the next stitch. And then we're going to work one single crochet in the back loop only of each of the single crochets, just down this first side.
Now just to the last stitch of that first side, so just in there. Now we're going to work the leg. We start with two chain and work one half double crochet into the same stitch as our last single crochet and then one half double crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch. For row 2 we start with 2 chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each of our 2 stitches. For row 3 we start with 3 chain and turn. We're going to work a 3 double crochet cluster over our 2 stitches so we'll work 2 into the first stitch and 1 into the last stitch. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up the loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through 2 loops, then yarn around the hook, hook into that same stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through 2 loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch, and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Now we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch down our back leg. You can work one chain quite tightly and then just work a slip stitch into each stitch down the back of the leg. Now we work one single crochet into the back loop only of each of the next two stitches. And then one half double crochet into the back loop only of each of the next 11 stitches. One single crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch and slip stitch into the back loop only of the following stitch and fasten off. And that's the back side of it done. Now you might have finished at a different spot than me, it just depends on how close together you worked your neatening row. Now I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll work this next section. Now for this next part, the back side, we join our 179, the topaz, in the second stitch after the first leg. So miss one and join in the next stitch. and start with 2 chain. We work a joined half double crochet over the same stitch as our join and the next stitch. Now 
and then work two half double crochet in the second stitch of our joined half double crochet. So this stitch here, two half double crochet. Then work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Then two half double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the following stitch. That's a treble using UK terms. And two double crochet into the following stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. One half double crochet into the following stitch. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then slip stitch into the following stitch and fasten off. Now I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll work this second front leg. Now for this second leg we join the 383 the ginger gold to the first stitch of this section we just worked. Now I'm going to leave a longer tail at the beginning and I'll use it for the neatening row. It will just be left on this side here. Now for the second leg we start with two chain. We work one half double crochet in the same stitch as our join and one double crochet into the next stitch. For row 2 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work 1 half double crochet into the first stitch and 2 half double crochet into the last stitch. And we fasten off. Now for the neatening row, using this tail, we just bring it through. I might change hooks to make it easier. And we work one slip stitch in each stitch around our work. and we fasten off. And that's the second leg done. Now we'll work this little section up here. So I'll join my 179, the topaz, to the stitch after the topaz. So just up in here
there's one stitch in between and work one chain work one single crochet in the same stitch as the join and then one half double crochet into the next stitch then we work one double crochet into each of the following six stitches a double crochet is a treble so one double crochet into each of the next six stitches and then work one half double crochet and one slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off now I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll work this part of the ginger gold it comes up around here now we're going to join the ginger gold, the 383, six stitches down from the top of this bottom topaz. So just in here. And we're working the back markings. We start with one chain. We work one single crochet in the same stitch as our join and one half double crochet into the next stitch then one double crochet into each of the next three stitches one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches then one single crochet into each of the following six stitches then slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off now I'll weave in those ends and we'll be back and do this last topaz section next I've got my 179 the topaz and we join it five stitches up from this leg so this stitch here
we work one single crochet into the next stitch then one half double crochet into the following stitch one double crochet into each of the next three stitches and then one half double crochet into each of the following seven stitches Then one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. and then slip stitch into the next stitch for row 2 we turn our work and then we slip stitch into each of the first two single crochet not the slip stitch and then we work one single crochet into each of the next nine stitches Then one half double crochet into each of the next sti six stitches. For row three, we start with two chain and turn we work one half double crochet into each of the first five stitches one single crochet into each of the following nine stitches and then work one slip stitch into each stitch to the first stitch on the head
and fasten off. And that's the body done. For this back leg, I'll join my 383 the ginger gold to the third last stitch along the bottom here. We leave a long tail again to use for the neatening row. We work two chain. We work a joined half double crochet over the same stitch as the join and the next stitch. and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row two we start with two chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each of the two stitches. For row three we start with one chain and turn we work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch and we fasten off. the neatening row we just bring the cotton through to the front and work one slip stitch in each stitch around the leg and we fasten off and that's all the pieces worked I'll just weave in the rest of the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together there's the pieces I've got the dog and the nose the first things I'll do is attach the nose just in the middle of the muzzle there and I'll embroider a little tuck in the centre of the mouth and I'll attach the eyes they go reasonably close to the top just up against the marking for around the muzzle so just up in there next I'll use darker brown cotton to embroider on eyebrows just above each eye and then the little markings in between the eyes and there's some little markings just around the top of each ear. Next I'll embroider markings with a colour just slightly lighter than the ginger gold around the cheeks and down around the chin underneath the head there. Next embroider little markings up around the ginger gold. The last thing I do is embroider some lighter markings just over that leg and the back leg. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished Pomeranian. There's the finished Pomeranian the size is 9 cm wide by 11 cm or 5.5 inches wide by 
quarter inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.